Well, hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, have a beautiful evening here. We had a gray and rainy day today, but a beautiful evening to finish off the day. So we're thankful for that. Hopefully we got just a short one here in my last video, or one of my last videos. We'll link it right up. We'll link it right up here. It was about launching and landing your spark and one of the pieces to that was towards the end was talking about the combination stick controls. I was doing it down and in or down and out and it's been pointed out to me that it's not a down it's not a two-part movement it's not a down and then in or out it's just a angle to the corner uh, for in or out angle in angle out okay I've had several comments say well the doing the the down and then the movement is not going to be the same when it's up in the air, so it's not a valid test. So we're going to give it another try right here, okay? We're going to go ahead and get our spark up in the air, just sitting right there. You can see it. Go ahead and get it started. Okay. We can see it hanging out there still, right? See it moving back and forth? There we go. Alright, so I'm going to take it out a little bit further. Okay. And so instead of doing down and in, so I'm going to take it out a little bit further because we're a little close to the deck here. So instead of doing down and in, we're just going to do to the angles. Okay? So we're just going to do to the angles. And... That was more than a second and a half, and we still got a flying spark. You see that? See the spark there? All right, we'll bring it a little bit closer. Do that again. All right, bring it back. Bring it up a little bit. All right, there it is. We're just gonna go down and in. And we still have we still have a flying spark. So, get it back in view here, bring it a little bit closer. So that was down and in. We're gonna do down and back now, okay? Oh, can't do it there. Gotta scoot it back further away. All right, so you see my puppy out there running around. All right, so we will do raise it up right at the top of your screen. All right, so we're gonna do down and back. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Oh, and I said down and back again, but I just went to the angles. All right, all right, so let's do it again. Do it again. All right. So, it's right there. Can you see it? See it? Okay. We're just gonna go to the angles. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. And we still have a flying spark. Look at there. Okay, if we do it to the angles, to the out angles, 1,001, 1,000, whoa. Almost ran into my deck there. Okay. So let's see. We'll face it this way. All right. Can you see it there? All right. We'll do the angles away. Still. Oh, that did say a landing there. But that might have been just because it got close to the ground. So let's take it up. Where's that? There it is. All right. So I'll do outs. No, nope. I still can't get it to cut. So for those of you saying I'm doing it wrong, here we go. One more try. Just going straight to the corners. Sitting there holding it, holding it, holding it, holding it, holding it, holding it. And didn't kill it. Didn't kill it. If I do it again, going to the corners in. 
Holding it, 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 holding it. Still didn't. All right. So I think that goes to show that the combination stick controls, which are diagonally in and to the bottom, or diagonally out to the bottom, either one of those doesn't kill the Sparks motors like the documentation says it, it should and like it does in the Mavic and the Phantom. Now I know some of you guys said there's a setting that you can change that in the Mavic and the Phantom, the newer versions, and I think you're right on that. Uh, if you can find that in the Spark settings, go for it because I have not been able to find that. But for me, the CSEs do not stop the motor. It doesn't drop out of the sky. So. All right, hope you guys have a great day. Hope that uh, clear, clears things up. And we'll catch you on the next one. See you.